All right, guys, so it started off to be a good day. We're gonna pick up some old truck cabs, a 46 Chevy and another truck cab and some parts to start a new build, a little rat rod. But then we uh, must have uh, blown a head gasket. Look at that oil. This thing is just drenched in oil. So we're out here stuck in Chandler, waiting on an Uber to go pick up some oil from O'Reilly's. So yeah, don't buy a six up. Wish us luck, you two. <laughs> we're still to go pick up these cars. Nothing's gonna stop us. <sighs> Nothing. So hopefully we just make it back home. You know, if not, bro, we're just gonna go cash in and just get yeah, all yeah. the diesel. You know what? <laughs> a 6.7 sounds pretty nice right about now. Just saying. Just saying. All right, guys, just bought $130 worth of oil. So, um, we will see if this sucker starts. Got some kitty litter right here because we respectful. It didn't really get everything, but. Yeah, we tried, we tried, we tried. It's the thought that counts. All right, so we will give this a shot. Hopefully it fires up. And if it does, we will go load up those those vehicles. Well, it's just back on the road. Just threw some oil in. We'll probably have to keep adding the oil to it on the way up. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just a blown head gasket, but yeah, it's only 92 out here though. That's not too bad. Go Phoenix. All right, guys, we got the frame right here. We got the two cabs outside. And hopefully we can get a hold of one of those big blocks for cheap. <laughs> got her all loaded up. Got a lot of goodies right here. Look at that. We got hoods, fenders, a whole bunch of things. The two cabs, we got a rear diff, we got the frame. Yeah, <laughs> definitely a lot of stuff. Definitely a really good find. So hopefully we'll make it back to Tucson. No issues. We're going to stop and get more oil just so we can keep adding it here and there. So hopefully it goes well. All right, guys. So another adventure was our charge pipe on the 6.0 just came loose on us on the side of the highway. Just blew. We thought it was a tire, but it happened to be the charge pipe. It just, it just wanted to blow, which is fine because it's a lot easier to fix in a spare that. tire on these. The trip back to Tucson is probably going to be a little bit more than two hours. It's going to take it easy. The right side, though, is we got a lot of good parts with all of this, and possibly we might come back with some more parts that we got. So, more of this video, don't buy a 6.0. Like I said earlier, get a coming. Like I told him when he first got this truck. Nah, nah, nah buy a Duramax. <laughs> well, Alright, guys. Well, we're heading back to Tucson now. We'll keep you updated. Officially broke down. Just overheated, blew the charge pipe again, and called the tow truck out here. So, but damn, what a pain! What a pain! So, we're just chilling over here under the tree. At least we got water. All right, we are at Culver's getting some food. 
So a stranger picked us up. Hi, I'm the face of the Uber. <laughs> <laughs> That's my sister, guys. Thank God. She was gonna come with us at first, but then she didn't wake up on time. So good, because we needed her lift it's assistance. Hot. It's hot. I'm sweaty. I'm brown and Border Patrol almost pulled me over because <laughs> I was crossing the highway with a bunch of water. Um, yeah, discrimination needs to end, guys. Come on. Um, you look worse because you're wearing two but, containers. Yeah, I had two containers of water <laughs> and I'm like drenched in sweat, full of dirt and dust and everything. Um, they looked at me pretty funny. So Luckily, I hopped out at the right time and they're like, oh, you're good. Yeah, they're like, oh, you guys have a nice day. Low rider, dragon hitches. We don't drive. We got people to drive for us. There she is, boys. There she is. Look at that. Look at that. I ain't never seen my truck outside my truck. Wow, what a sight. I guess this is unloaded and pretty much done look at that ready to be sold comes with a free mexican i do yard work on the cheap it's actually supposed to sit down a little lower but it's not it needs a little more trimming on the sides we're gonna do a mad max load where there's no doors you just fly out at 150 miles an hour. just fly out we need doors rear engine setup no, <laughs> but this thing's actually uh yeah it has the frame so we already started working on it you can tell they like uh notched the frame out and stuff as you can see the cuts and stuff so just have to weld all those up looks like they already got it packed in place and then the cab needs a little bit of trimming and stuff but definitely a great find we have a ton of other parts in the truck over there so this is gonna be a, a pretty sick build yeah we got the the OG fenders. Oh, we're hiding the other yeah. So, it's the OG fender. And then right here, we got a second cab, so possibly the second second build. So, uh, we're going to do the other build first, see how that turns out. And then the second one, we'll have a lot better idea of what to do on this one. So, not too bad. Yeah, this one's a. Uh, Actually, kind of got some cool patina. I think this was the most rusted one from both of them. Huh? Yeah, only real rust though is right here on the pillars. For the most part, pretty solid. And but yeah, this one right here, this uh, this cab is is straight, straight as can be. So we got the other door out there in the truck too. So at least we can finish one build with doors. It's got that 6-0 paint job right now. She is in her resting place for the next 17 years. But yeah, you can see right here where this is all notched out. It's actually gonna sit a lot lower. So this right here, this frame, or this the bottom of the cab right here, is gonna hit like around the bottom of the frame right here so this thing's actually gonna be sitting a lot lower yeah we got our we got our datings up here 
custom one-off Dayton's. We got that dual steering, so you can just do to do circles all day long, baby. Like a shopping cart. Yeah, hit us up for names in the comments, guys. We're actually gonna build this and then try to flip it. Since it is a build, like a flip series, I guess, on this one, we might actually keep you updated on like the prices, you know, like how we, how much we spent on everything so far. And I'll, I'll write everything down on that, uh, on that custom hood that I built. So go check that video out if you haven't already saw it. So yeah, guys, this is the start of the new project. The first of the two hot rods. We got the rest to go unload. We'll show you that in a minute and to get back to you. Got everything unloaded. Got uh, all the fenders right here. Got a whole bunch of other uh, body panels and stuff. We got the front grill section right there. We got the hood. Like that's a good find. One of those uh, split hoods come up on one side. We got a gas tank right here. We got the old original steering wheel. It's pretty dope. We got another gas tank. Um, got a whole bunch of parts. Um, we got some leaf springs. We got this little cross member. Got some windshield trim, drive shaft, um, possibly firewall, uh, a whole bunch of other parts. Yep, we got this dashboard. This thing's sick. Yeah, the old pedals right there. And uh, the old heater right there with the fan. We got some glass right there. And we got this front right here. The front drop axle. So we're gonna have to find the spindles for that, or the hubs for that. So, we got the door. Uh, fits on there pretty nice too. So we're gonna have to just, you know, find some hinges, uh, smoothing it out, finish up this bodywork, put it back on, find some hinges, check out this rear end, see what's up with this. Hopefully it's good, hopefully it's a posse. Yeah, this thing's home, guys. Time to start building. You know, because who gives a crap about our other four projects we already had? Sorry Mustang, we're gonna have to put you on the back burner. You ain't making no money. But honestly guys, this thing um, do have some big plans for it. Just need a little bit of uh, money that I don't have right now. It's a big project and it is gonna be most definitely a pretty awesome project. And yeah, we will let you guys in on that. Hi yeah, guys, so this started a new project, starting soon, so peace guys. We'll see you on the next one. Better YouTube, stay tuned.